So today joining us uh, for the first time on Took TV is Dorothy Jung. Now, first of all, Dorothy, welcome. Thanks, Anthony. In South Australia, very active in that space. Tell me what your business does and how it works. Alrighty, um, I come from an organisation called Kingway. Basically, is an organisation has the uh, mother offices at court in the southwest part of China, and we've been uh, doing business in the area of business migration, over this education for nearly ten years. We are the big players in that region. So myself came about th four years ago, um, and my function is to be able really to facilitate those. Business, you know, people and all those people who bought money into Austria, as you mentioned, to help them with their success in terms of life and business. So, uh, I facilitate them with purchasing property is one of the not major business extreme for the company, but it has been a very important part of our services. Now, Dorothy, you're finding many families still buying in South Australia, or has it slowed down recently? Um, well. Um, actually, you, you, you might notice in the, um, a statistic that in the, starting from 2002, the government of South Australia issues the whole Australia has put on a special uh, migration related program. And the purpose of the program is really actually to uh, increase in the level of employment opportunity and attracting for over, more overseas you know, investors and funds. So starting from 2002, there were a large number of business investors coming into Australia and South Australia has particularly is one of the regions has the most encourageable policies. So I would say people are still coming and uh, the market for the uh, um, for in, in China in, in investor is still fairly strong. And actually the number of families coming to Australia is increasing every year. Um, in 2002 they probably run 90 families but statistics last year is about more than 600 business migration. That's a big difference. Yeah, it is, it is. Now, is that 600 in the South Australia or Australia generally? It's in South Australia. In South yeah, Australia? Yeah, but again, um, maybe that, that, that could be the uh, roughly number we need to get from the uh, maybe Department of Immigration or some other um, statistics to get. But I've done some research on that. It's the roughly the figure. Poop, people who put up their hands yes. that I want to come to live in South Australia. Um, in our market, we've mm. seen uh, a lot of the very large estates, the very large homes being purchased recently yes, and by recently true. in the last 18 months by Chinese uh, people. Yep. Uh, that trend um, has changed from being more modern in the Wattle Park, you know, sort of hilly modern suburbs now to mm. the more traditional type properties. Yep. Is that something you've observed, or is that just because we happen to run into those people more? Um, well, very good question, Anthony. Actually, I guess um, the, the, the you know the portion of business investor coming that there are the groups of people in China who are extremely successful in each fields. It's like I work with a client who is the top player in restaurant business and top player in property development. So the purpose of for them to come is to seeking quality of life. So obviously some, some of the prestigious suburbs like Anli Park, we all mm. know in, in, in South Australia, or maybe some like Widow Park or Roslyn Park, we got a views, vineyard is the location they're looking for. So um, in terms of whether people like modern house better or like the old, old it, 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 it varies. It varies now. Yeah, it varies it now. Ten years ago, it you was pretty so? much only the modern with a view. Oh, is it? Okay. But now they, the Chinese people seem to understand very much how we live and yep. seem to be very much purchasing what we would consider the best of the best. Mm, yeah. And that's an observation that selling yeah. to, to a lot of you know, people from China. Yeah, that might be true because of the... Um, because in China, people live differently due to the large number of population. We normally live in, you know, like high, high level, rise. high yeah. rise of apartments. While here, you could have space, a garden, pool, tennis court. Those are the type of, you know, different lifestyle people are looking for. And they've worked out yes. that they can get that. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And in, with, with modern facility fit outs, it's very easy for Chinese people to get that kind of mm. a modern kitchen from Germany. But they might not be able to get the 
the you know um, the land. yeah the land. That's the people we really value and also enhance their purchasing power, which is the value in Australia. If they buy property, they can actually own the land. Mm. and they can pass to the children, which in China regulations is a little bit different. Right.